All right, everybody, John Ryan back with more Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. We're fighting Monsoon uh, in Chapter 3, and uh, this is one of the more pain-in-the-butt boss fights throughout the game, um, just because his attacks are so fast and that special counter block doesn't work. However, on the upside, uh, if you've been using the Infinite Blade Wig, uh, you don't have to feel bad about using it in this one because you will have Infinite Ripper Mode anyways, so don't feel bad. Uh, anyways, you'll notice that he's got these uh, these smoke bomb attacks, and unfortunately, since we're going for no damage and a good time and this and that and blah blah blah, blah um, if you let him detonate those smoke bombs like right near you, you'll actually take a little bit of damage and you won't be able to get the ranking that you want to get. So. Uh, keep an eye out for the cues he's going to give, uh, which is, he kind of like puts his hands on his hips and throws his arms up over his head. Uh, you saw it at the beginning of this video, you can actually go back and check it out if you want to. Uh, anyways, we're also going to switch to our EM grenades here, uh, because after this bit, he's going to throw a bunch of stuff at you, you're going to chop it to bits. Uh, he throws one plane, then two planes, then like five, then eight, then twelve, then he just throws a bunch of crap at you. Um, so make sure that you're running around also, because each one that you destroy uh, drops an item. Usually it's a repair paste or an EM grenade. You really want as many of those EM grenades as you can get. Uh, because he'll come back down uh, after two rounds of throwing stuff at you. And you see how he's glowing purple? Uh, first we're going to throw the grenade, hit him with uh, that and just go to town on his uh, head over here because that'll transmit back into his body and you can keep hitting him for a higher combo. Um, but if he hadn't thrown that grenade, uh, he would have... you basically just wouldn't have been able to hit him. Uh, his, his body, his power is like that weird magnetism thing where all of his limbs aren't really attached and he essentially just like goes, whoop, 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 nope, can't hit me and it's just a real pain in the ass. Uh, so anyways, he's gonna throw some more stuff at you and this will go on two or three more times, uh, and each time the amount of, you know, junk of tanks and helicopters and planes and whatever that he, uh, he forces you to chop gets higher and higher and higher. So you really want to learn uh, the patterns of where each one's going to be. And believe you me, if you're going for the Revengeance ranking on this, or the S ranking on Revengeance, you're going to play this more than two or three times. So don't worry, but, you know, take the, uh, take the time to really learn what the patterns are. Don't just expect they'll be random because they're not. Because with every game you need to learn you know, what's coming next and you really need to learn all of his cues uh, for everything that he's going to do. Alright, so once you get him down to about 40%, I think it's actually 40 on the nose, he'll start doing that thing I was talking about where you just can't hit him at all, and then he's going to retreat like a little girl up to the top of this mountain, or the top of this building, it's not a mountain. It's a man-made mountain made out of concrete where people work inside. Anyways, uh, and then he's just going to start throwing this giant ball of trash at you. Uh, you can really easily avoid the ball itself. Uh, what you want to do, though, is keep your camera trained uh, to whichever direction you're going to be running in. Because you can see you've got all these like fire extinguishers and barrels and stuff that are kind of falling out of it and exploding. Uh, and the last thing that you want is to be f doing this fight almost perfectly and then have a surprise explosion just give you like two points of damage that'll totally screw up your ranking. Uh, so make sure that while you're running back and forth, you're just keeping an eye out what's going to be in your way and uh, wait for it to explode before you know, making that run. Uh, and this is what would happen to you if you hadn't been able to EM grenade him uh, when you're doing right after he throws uh, all those tanks at you. Uh, this is basically what you have to go through every single time uh, before you're able to go into blade mode and give him that good whack upside the head. Um, again, really, really, really cannot stress enough how important it is to get comfortable with blocking attacks in this, and also uh, using your lock function too, because he moves around really fast as well, and you really never want to, you know, not know where he is. If he's out of your line of sight, that's usually a very bad thing. Uh, so keep going. He'll jump back up to the top of the gate, and he'll start hucking stuff at you again, and then they'll... Uh, 
Jesus, that's a lot. Oh, this is going to get bad. Um, so cut and cut, 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 cut. Oh, it's so much. Um, anyway, so he's going to do this two or three more times. Uh, not, like, overall, but he'll just keep throwing stuff at you. Um, and then he'll eventually go back up on the wall again before you start your final bit of the encounter. It's uh, it's actually also worth mentioning that if you beat this boss on uh, hard, or yeah, it's hard or above, so hard, very hard, or a vengeance, uh, you'll unlock the Genius Destroyer trophy, uh, which is one of the five hidden trophies that you get for um, defeating a boss without taking any damage uh, whatsoever. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right, we made it. We made it to a checkpoint, which means we never have to fight him again, ever, except for in, like, you know, maybe a half hour when he comes back. Anyway, sorry, no spoilers. Um, this bit of the fight's really easy. It's the last, like, 20 seconds. All you've got to do is ninja run up the side of this thing and then cut through one piece of cardboard and do a quick time event. So do that. Try really hard not to screw it up, because if you screw that up after all this, shame on you. Uh, so that'll do it for the Monsoon fight on Revengeance mode with an S ranking. Uh, for everything else with Metal Gear Rising, keep it locked right here at IGN.